Google makes some of the best Android phones around and we have no reason to expect otherwise with the upcoming launch of the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. As we race towards the May by Google event scheduled for October 4th, we're learning all about the company's next flagship smartphones. There's good reason to pay attention this year as Google looks to improve on its powerful, yet flawed, 2022 lineup. With some crucial design changes and an all-new processor, there are plenty of reasons to be excited about the Pixel 8. From some massive overhauls to smaller tweaks, here's everything we know about the Pixel 8 so far. Google's Pixel 8 won't shake up its design, but it can read your temperature. There are leaks, and then there are official renders, and thanks to a couple of new event teaser from Google, we have both. Feast your eyes on the first official look at the Pixel 8 Pro. This video gave us our first look at a new Pixel Watch and a matching new color for the Pixel Buds 2, both of which we expect to see alongside the phones. Of course, it's not just official photos giving us a look at what's to come in October. It took until nearly September for some official Google images to leak for the Pixel 8, but as usual, the company slipped up. An image of the white Pixel 8 Pro was uploaded to the Google Store to advertise Google Fi, and instead of showcasing the Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, it features a man holding the upcoming, as yet unannounced, flagship. It's a phone that looks mighty similar to its predecessor, which might explain why the photo was used in the first place. A week later, we saw yet another glimpse of the Pixel 8 Pro once again leaked from an official Google website. This time, the company's Pixel Simulator website went live a little too early, showing the phone in its sky porcelain and licorice colorways. Because this isn't just a press photo, it's a full demo site. Google also highlighted its ability to read your temperature and confirming the existence of a SIM tray, something that seemed up in the air in earlier renders. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the beginning, with rumors and renders dating back to earlier this year. This year's phones have two codenames, Husky and Shiba. Based on leaked display information for both devices, Husky seems to be the Pixel 8 Pro, with a 2822 by 1344 resolution, while the smaller Pixel 8 Shiba sports a 2268 by 1080 resolution. Both are reduced from the current Pixel 7 models, suggesting some minor, but nonetheless welcome, improvements to Google's design chops. The corners of the phone screens seem far more rounded, more in line with the Galaxy S23 Plus than the squared-off corners of the S23 Ultra. This design tweak is seemingly confirmed by in-depth display rumors, with Google doubling the radius of its curves. That rumor also revealed that both the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro will see brightness bumps up to 1400 nits and 1600 nits respectively when viewing HDR content. Meanwhile, it looks like the Pixel 8 is getting a 120Hz display, perhaps to differentiate it from the Pixel 7 and A and its 90Hz panel. Google has also graced the Pro with a flat 6.7 display, matching the panel on its smaller devices. Unsurprisingly, Google isn't rocking the boat here. These renders, which come from noted leaker on leaks, show off a device that looks like a slightly modified Pixel 7 Pro. Basically, there are three basic changes here, and they all point to a minor upgrade. These renders otherwise reveal the same dual camera setup on the back in a familiar visor-style camera array. What's interesting, however, is Google's potential switch to a polished metal frame rather than a brush one, bringing the Pixel 8 right in line with the Pixel 8 Pro or Pixel 7 Pro, for that matter. This might just be a stylistic decision for these renders, though. The power button and volume rocker remain in the same position, with Google one of only a few companies that put power above volume. As far as its specs go, we know Google Tensor G3 is currently in testing. Codename Zuma, Google's third-gen custom chipset, is rumored to be based on the unannounced Samsung Exynos 2300 processor. It's based on Samsung's 3NM node, which developer Camilo Wojciechowski says should be comparable to TSMC, the foundry currently relied on by Qualcomm and Apple. The latest rumors have it pegged as using a new packaging designed to reduce heat output, one of the biggest complaints about last year's phones. The current Google Tensor G2 remains a 5-inch chipset, so this could improve efficiency and overall performance, both areas where the current chip is lacking. Expect it to be paired with 12 gigs of RAM on the Pro model, as spotted in the fastboot screen in July's prototype leak. It'll also come with some modern touches first seen on devices powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, such as Wi-Fi 7 support. As for storage options, Google isn't rocking the boat here. We expect the smaller Pixel 8 to include 128 or 256 gigs of storage, while the Pixel 8 Pro will feature 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage. Frankly, these options are starting to feel pretty long in the tooth, especially compared to Samsung. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 recently launched with a starting storage tier of 256 gigs, without raising the price. 
while other flagship Samsung phones include up to 1 terabytes of storage, double the most expensive Pixel 8 Pro. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Google is improving in this space. We're also expecting Google Pixel 8 lineup to sport an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. It's still an under-display fingerprint sensor, but it should be faster than the Pixel 7's optical sensor. We're optimistic that the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor should be significantly faster than its predecessors, but doubt it will keep pace with the one on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The flagship Pixel 8 Pro looks all but certain to come with a built-in thermometer that was shown off in a leaked video in mid-May. The feature is a contactless thermometer that monitors your skin's temperature to help you determine if you're unwell. It's not a brand new feature for smartphones. We've seen Honor include similar in the past, but this is the first time we've seen this feature on a Pixel device. This appears to be exclusive to the Pixel 8 Pro and won't be seen on the cheaper model. It seems like Google Camera might be receiving a UI overhaul time with the launch of the Pixel 8. None of these changes are massive, photo and video mode are combined with a separate toggle, the camera switch and gallery shortcuts are reversed, and plenty of settings find some new locations along the bottom of the screen. Change for changes sake might drive some users a little crazy, but it could point to more streamlining in the future. Finally, on a disappointing note, the Pixel 8 series sounds set to miss out on one of the most anticipated advancements in wireless charging in years. QI2 promises to bring MagSafe-style pucks and pads to Android phones, but it's unlikely to be included on this year's phones. The Pixel 8 recently passed through QI certification and its listing delivers the same 12 watts power limits. It's possible, though still unlikely, that the Pixel 8 Pro gets this feature. Only time will tell. You'll likely have to rely on third-party cases to take advantage of magnetic pucks. At least we're getting a minor boost in charging speed. If you're discussing the Pixel series, you can ignore the camera. Google built its successor to the Nexus program on its impressive photo capabilities, combining excellent hardware with cutting-edge software and AI-powered photo processing. In the past, we've seen Google stick with camera sensors for years at a time. It wasn't until the Pixel 6 that the company ditched the sensor it used in the Pixel 3. But with this year's lineup, that might change. Developer Camila Wojciechowski spotted support for Husky and Shynx in Google's Camera Go app, specifically referencing staggered HDR support. It's a fresh approach to HDR photography, simultaneously capturing short and long exposures to improve capture time. However, the GN1 sensor currently used on the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 6 before it doesn't support it on a hardware level, implying Google plans to shake up its camera tech on the Pixel 8. For other manufacturers, switching to a new sensor after two generations isn't unheard of. Still, it displays a new, hardware-focused approach for the company. In June, Wojciechowska returned with more information on the cameras found in the Pixel 8 series, giving us a full roundup of all of the sensors found on Google's next phones. The Pixel 8 Pro is using a 50-megapixel Samsung Isocell GN2 main sensor alongside an ultra-wide 64-megapixels IMX 787 and a telephoto 58-megapixels GM5 sensor. Breaking this down, the GN2 is an upgraded version of the GN1 found in the Pixel 7 series, which should be capable of capturing more light while improving shutter speed performance in low-light settings. It's also capable of 8K 30 video recording, though Wojciechowska says it's not in testing on the Pixel 8 right now thanks to poor thermal performance. The ultra-wide sensor is also all-new, quadrupling its performance presumably to allow for pixel binning when taking wide shots. It's both larger and wider than the current IMX 386 used in the Pixel 7 Pro, a big year-over-year -year upgrade. All that said, the telephoto sensor remains unchanged, as does the 11 meat pixels front-facing camera. With Google's Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro rapidly approaching, expect the leaks and rumors to keep pouring in ahead of the October event. Until then, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro remain excellent devices, especially considering their routine discounts. If you can't wait for a new generation of Pixel, both devices will serve you well. So, what are your expectations from upcoming Google Pixel 8 lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section, and for more Pixel updates, you can check out our channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.